Welcome to the next video in our Quick Start series. Today, we're diving into the Rewrite button, a powerful feature designed to refine and enhance your existing text. When you're happy with the substance of something you've written, but get the feeling the prose could use another pass, whether for clarity, style, or just a fresh take, Rewrite can do that for you with the click of a button. Here's how it works. First, select the text you want to revise. Then, select the Rewrite button, either from the Hover menu or the Toolbar. You'll see a selector appear in the History column on the right. This is where you'll choose how you want Rewrite to modify your work. Rephrased, shorter, more show not tell, or even something custom. So you could say, be more quirky here, or make this really dark and foreboding. For now, we'll use Rephrase. When I say go, rewrite gets to work, and we see new cards appear in that history column. Once your results are ready, you'll see the updated pros in those cards, and you'll notice that anything Pseudorite's AI changed is presented in purple. If you like what you see, just click Insert, and it will replace your highlighted selection. You have one additional control with rewrite, and that's how many cards it will generate at once. Just click the drop-down arrow to the right of the Rewrite button to select your preference. Then, each concurrent use of the Rewrite button will output that many card options in the future. Something to be aware of is that, as of right now, the Rewrite button does not take Story Bible or other story context into account when you use it. Rewrite is focused exclusively on your selection and preferred Rewrite style. That covers it for Rewrite. Drop your questions in the comments and stay tuned for the next video in our Quick Start series, focused on the Describe button.